What is going on guys? Kingpin Light here and even though I'm a little bit tired, I did say that I'm going to stick to my schedule starting today or Wednesday. I guess it's, it's Thursday now because it's past midnight for me, but I did say every Wednesday or Monday, Wednesday and Friday I'm going to be doing a reaction video no matter what. Sundays I got a special series that I'm starting that hopefully you guys will uh, pick up on, but you'll see it when it comes out. Um, and so we're going to go in, ahead and do our first reaction since me coming back. We got XG Tippy Toes, the official music video. I looked through their channel. I didn't see a whole lot of songs, to be honest with you guys. It seems like most of what they do is, I guess, just a whole lot of videos about themselves and like their dance routines and stuff like that. I didn't see a whole lot of like actual songs because I did Mascara and then I did the Cypher number two or whatever that was, the tape two. Um, I'm sure there's a tape one I didn't see right away. But I did see Tippy Toes that came out like nine months ago, I think. So we're going to go ahead and check this out. I got closed captioning as always. Let's jump right into it. I always think like my headphones aren't working. It's got a period of silence in the beginning. All right, <clears throat> let's go. Okay. I'm gonna take a quick second and say, doesn't this remind you of like early 2000s rap? Uh, uh, well, club rap, not not all genres of rap, but it kind of reminds me of like Big Sean and that sort of productions way back in the day. Um, that real bouncy club type beat and bass. Which is not a bad thing. I just I haven't seen it in a while. This sort of sound. I will say we should just point out how good whoever their videographer or whatever they're called, like cinematography, their videos and the quality and like the art shots and everything else, super amazing from everything that I've seen. I mean, even that say uh, the cipher tape two was shot really really well, even though that was a simplified like there wasn't a whole lot of elements going on really. It was about the lyrics and everything else, but. Um, even that, they just have amazing shots. Somebody, whoever's working their cameras, needs a raise. I like every element so far, like individually. This dancing does not seem to match with that singing, does it? Like the dancing is like real. The dancing fits more with like the little rap section that happened in the beginning, but it's done over the singing. It just feels a little weird. It's like this high energy dancing with, uh, with you know, smoother sort of vocals going on. Mm, but she can sing for real. Mm. Yeah, I like that that vocal intonation they did kind of right at the we're on the rise. I like that part. Mm. Yeah, they always got dancing down pat with these groups, don't they? I mean, I know that's a big part of the image and the genre is the dancing choreography that goes alongside the music and, and the art, I guess, the shots and everything else. Um, but it's it's just not something that's super, uh, uh, not something I'm super used to in the other genres that I listen to, right? Like more traditional American rap, uh, Atlanta rap, a lot of that because I'm in Georgia. Um, and for me, you know, those genres don't, have that element too much r&b does a little bit they do have a lot of choreography you know you got beyonce and um hell even pop like lady gaga and, and them uh focus a lot on the dancing as well but i think they take it to another step anything that's like um k-pop inspired i'll say i 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't pause too much anymore, but I was okay. Now that I paused it, I think it's a little more obvious. Are those tattoos on her body? And then she's got like a see-through sleeve over it or are the designs over her sleeve like are on the sleeve you know what i mean i'm just curious because i was like damn she got some nice tattoos but then but then when i pause it it kind of seems like it's just a design on the uh on the shirt just a gal all right I'm sorry, look at this. This shot is dope. Like the color grading and everything else. I don't really know if there's like hidden symbolism in there that I'm not picking up. I just think uh face value and color grading everything is just a dope shot. I like it. I'm really liking the verses, by the way. I haven't commented too much on it, but that car was What is that? Is that like a Charger? Is that Dodge? I, I can't even tell. That looks like a modded out fucking Charger or something, or Challenger. I'm tired. Forgive me. Mm. Yeah, I really like this. This like chorus or hook or whatever. It's really catchy. Yeah, that's not tattoos. I don't know why I thought it was. It's a lot easier to see like when it's up close. Yeah, that's a design on the shirt. <laughs> All right, look. For a second, I thought it was tattoos. Now I see it. It was very obviously not. Hmm. I'm not gonna pause it. I'm gonna listen to this first. Okay. Yeah, that was definitely way more traditional R&B inspired, I feel like, or at least it, it fit that genre a lot but more, I think, than the other sections, which were a little more poppy, I would say, less R&B, more like poppy singing, if that makes sense, um, but that little section definitely felt very R&B. I was going to say, and maybe it's because I'm not in tune with the culture and the, and the community, I guess, of K-pop and J-pop and all of those sort of... Um, uh, Asian music groups or idol groups and everything else that goes along with that culture, I guess. And for me, it always feels like they just spring out of nowhere. Like, what is their background? What is their history? Because it always seems to me like there's so many, well, there's a few groups that I've checked out um, and not necessarily reacted to, but I just like search their name up to plan future reactions. And a lot of times they'll have like one or two music videos and they have like millions of views, which I mean, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just curious how they get discovered with such a little um, backlog of music, unless there's something I'm missing. And, and, you know, like the YouTube or whatever else, or maybe they come from different groups. So the per the people are known. I just don't know. Like from my perspective, it just every time I check out some of the smaller groups, it just feels like they sprung out of nowhere. And I'm like, damn, how do they have this huge following? But like three songs, you know what I mean? Maybe you guys could clear that up for me. And just to be clear, I think they're talented. Like, I'm not saying they shouldn't have, from everything I've seen, I don't think they shouldn't have the following, you know what I mean? I'm just curious how they get discovered. Is the big thing like how do you get seen in front of so many people so quickly? Like, is it because 
they got deals already signed for the music or i i don't know you guys let me know i think it's pretty much over by the way also what does xg stand for is there like a name for it or like an acronym yeah that was dope i mean so far i've heard three real things from them right i've heard well, two songs and then that cypher tape, which I don't know if that counts as a song. It felt like a song. It was long enough for a song. It had four verses, but I mean, that's a cypher, right? Really to showcase the, their rapping skills on that one. So I would say I've, I've heard tip, two songs, Tippy Toes and Mascara from them. I'm curious what XG stands for, to be honest. Now, <laughs> I said, what's the, if, is that an, I should have said, is that an acronym for something? But now that I'm thinking about it, what's the antithesis of that so the acronym is the shortened letters but what is it when you say like what are the words inside the acronym is there another name for those words i don't know i may just be tired rambling but anyway if you like that reaction you want to see more definitely let me know in the comments as i said i'm sticking to this schedule i'm gonna make sure the schedule does not get messed up unless it's something special going on sunday's christmas so i'm really hoping that that doesn't get in the way of uh, me starting this new series that I'm going to show you guys alongside the reactions. Um, but if it does, I might push it out to Monday so I can enjoy family time on, on Sunday and then do a little bit on Monday. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching as always. I hope you guys have a good day and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.